Uh, my name is Noel Henderson and today we're at the Avington Merino Stud in central Victoria at uh, Sidonia which is uh, about 15 kilometres from Kyneton uh, and what you're seeing in the background is some of our beautiful uh, ultrafine merinos. We, we had a particular view about ethical farming and we set out to develop those, the practices. We researched what the standards were both in Australia and around the world. Um, in more recent years, uh, we submitted to the responsible wool standard um, for a, a, an audit, um, and we were the first Australian wool grower to be accredited. Now, our approach to, to the to ethical management of sheep is to administer pain relief where, where, wherever possible, and it's certainly now possible with numb nuts. We, we'd been trialling with our local vet individual injections. Now we have a, an applicator that's got a bottle of anaesthetic attached to it, so it makes it as fast, probably faster than what traditionally we were using. The, the traditional method of using a hot knife, which is what we've done up until this year, um, we, we found to be, well, there was some health and safety issues involved in it to start with. You've got gas heating in the, in the yards where we're working. Um, and and it's a risk to the to the people. With the the uh, the numb nuts treatment that we've been uh, going through now, it is it, it's taken very short period of time to train our staff, and now to put them into full uh, swing in terms of of the, this new approach. Uh, Australian farmers are uh, traditionally very slow to, to adopt new ideas. Um, they, they don't like being told what to do um, and uh, there is a, now a shift in generations. There is a demand coming particularly from the customer, the retail customer, um, that, that is prepared to look at a swing tag, is prepared to ask the question, tell me about the ethical production of this wool. And I think that's where change will be driven, and it's and it's happening fast. The the, the information, the feedback we get from from retailers, from manufacturers of wool and garments, is that these questions are out there every day.